What's up everyone? Welcome to my action figure review. Today I am going to review one of my favorite lines from um, Marvel Select Action Figures, the, the zombie lineup. Uh, we're looking at Zombie Magneto. Uh, this is not my first zombie Marvel figure. I, I, I own quite a few, but this is by far one of my favorites. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the uh, packaging uh, you can see that it, it it has a normal window display just like any diamond select figures on the side you get a an image of uh, magneto um, you know which is kind of scary and then on in the back you see a little history of um, of the zombie uh, figures and how the plague started and then there's two other figures that are available, uh, which seems to be like the older ones. They just put it on, uh, put them on the back of this one. Uh, and then uh, a larger image of the um, the figure itself. There we go, displayed on uh, an action stand, and nothing on the side. Uh, it does say that it's for ages um, eight and up, but I think it's it's definitely not for an eight year old. Not not because it's scary, but because I don't think an eight, eight year old would be interested in a figure like this. Um, anyways, uh, let's go ahead and open this guy up. Um, I really didn't want to open it, but but it's a damn shame to leave uh, this guy, you know inside a box so let me get this out and we'll take a closer look at it all right now that it's out of the box let's take a closer look at the uh, paint job and sculpting and articulation and everything else I'm really excited to take this guy out of the box and let's go ahead you bring him closer and start the face let me zoom in and get a clear picture there we go all right and the helmet comes off all right which is really cool okay and let's take a closer look wow look at that the sculpting is amazing i have no words to describe the details the paint job and and overall if you look at the um, the muscles, you can see the flesh and 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 how it's rotted everywhere, and the bone how it appears to be all dried up. You can see the kneecap too; it's all there's all this dirt caught into it, which definitely shows that it's aged. He's been into a zombie form for a while. Even under the cape, you can see the uh, the, the the lats, the back muscles here, all the you know rotten and, and flesh and everything and uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the paint job this this is probably one of the best figures that that I have seen by a Marvel Diamond Select lineup the I, I don't see any overlaps uh, of paint I don't see one single thing that I can say about this figure that that's bad Let's go ahead and take a look at the articulation. Start with the arms. Okay, I see that there's a wrist swivel here, and then um, an elbow joint. They're pretty hard to to move. I don't want to push them too hard to break. It's recommended that you use a um, a hair dryer to loosen them up. Unfortunately, I didn't do that, so I'm not going to move them around much. Uh, shoulder appears to be a ball joint, so it goes side up and down, side to side, all around. Same thing with the other arm. And there's a wrist movement, elbow, and the shoulder. Um, there's no um, uh, waist uh, movement, like there's no ab crunch, which is obvious because then it would kind of it must be really hard because you can see that he's been eaten out so um that's fine uh let's take a look at his head over here looks like a ball joint it goes front and back and all around side to side and then the legs swivel all around 
Uh, knees only go front and back. And then the feet. They go front and back. I don't want to move them too much, but you guys can see that. There you go. All right. Um, uh, and let's see here what it comes. It comes in an action stand, just like most of Marvel uh, select figures. It looks like it's it's Green uh, Goblin's hand right here, holding uh, one of his pumpkin bombs or whatever Jack Jack the Lantern bombs. I don't know what to say what it is all right looks pretty cool right here let's go ahead and put this guy back up now i really don't have anything bad to say about this guy it's it i highly recommend it i um it, it's very fairly priced uh, i even use a coupon to get this one i got it a while ago let me let me get a close-up on this guy here we go so it was like a like a a promotion going on and I got a coupon and I used it so um, I definitely recommend that you guys go pick this up or, or it's available online at toysrus.com and tons of other websites all right okay uh, I hope this uh, review was helpful and if you have any questions uh, please go right ahead and uh, drop me in the comments section and uh, please subscribe all right, take care.